In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use parametric modeling to dimension your objects so that they will be linked to one another and the dimensions hold true. First, I'm going to create a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Now, because I'm doing it on the XY plane, this does something wonky and turns it upside down. I'm going to click this arrow up here to turn it to go the right way. Now I'm going to draw a little rectangle right there like this. And I'm going to dimension this side to be 7 inches. Then I'm going to dimension this side because I want a square. I could come up here and use the equals constraint and lock these two lines in. But the problem with using constraints is that long term I can't always see where those constraints are and if I want to delete them later it can become a little tricky. So instead, I'm going to take this dimension and tie it to this dimension. So what I have is I have this dimension highlighted, and then I just click on this dimension. And so now, this and this are tied together. Hit enter, and now 7 inches, 7 inches. This FX means that it's a driven dimension, or it's a dimension that is tied to one another. Make it 8, and they both change. Now, I want to put a rectangle in the middle of my thing here. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I am going to dimension my rectangle. I want it to be 5 inches and 5 inches. Now, the tricky thing with this is I want it centered. So now is where algebra comes into play. I can click dimension, and I can say that from here to here, I want it a certain distance. The question is, how far? If I wanted to find the center point of this rectangle, I would say that I wanted to know, take this dimension and divide it by 2, and then subtract from it this dimension divided by 2. Down here is where parentheses come in handy. So first, I put a parenthesis, and I say I want to take this dimension, which becomes D5, divide it by 2, and then I close it, minus this dimension, oops, I forgot the parentheses, parentheses, this dimension divided by 2. And then I hit enter. Notice how it's made it here. Now to get this centered up, I can do the exact same thing from here to here. And again, it's going to be the same thing. Take this dimension and divide it by 2 minus this dimension divided by 2. And let's see what happens. And there we went. I was actually hoping that it would mess things up. But since it's doing division first, it divides, it divides, and then it subtracts. If we were to change this to a multiplication symbol, it would really mess up our entire equation as you saw there. So I'm going to go back and add my parentheses just to be sure that everything works the way I want it to work. But parentheses are important in the long term. Check, check. So now it's done and I hit finish sketch. Now I'm ready to extrude this and I'm going to bring it up half an inch. Okay. And that is how you use parametric modeling or dimensioning to lock your stuff in. If I come back in here and decide later on, well, I didn't really want it 8 inches, I wanted it 10. I hit 10, and notice how everything changes, and this still is all locked in. And this went from 1.5 to 2.5. Locks it in.